Okay, we've got some messages here. Trans offer unacceptable for Philip Lahm. They want 19 million. So I think I'm going to pay. I'm think I'm going to pay that. Sorry, a bit of a voice crack there. But 19 million, I think that's good enough because Arbeloa isn't the best of defenders. Didn't we get the Siglio though? So I've got to think about that. And transfer transfer offer accepted for Isco. So 70 70 million. What the? Hell? If I offered him 70 million, he'd be so rich. So. He's going to be an important first-team player, 83 rated, 20 years old. He's got some great potential. And yet again, tell me, who do you want me to buy in the next episode? They want 7 million for Musa Suzuko. That's only half a million more. don't know if they should have accepted. That's only 500,000, which isn't too much. So let's submit the offer. And we're going to go into our game up against Barcelona. Trust offer accepted for Gundogan or Gundogan. And he wants 70,000 a week. I'll be really happy, really happy if I can get him because I've got a lot of signings. I could potentially make it. It just depends on which ones I actually go for. So we're going to submit the offer. We got a couple of days until our Barcelona game, and yeah, we got one day actually. And then in eleven days, we got the game up against Valencia. So really looking forward to that game. And yes, yeah, so transfer accepted for Kevin Prince Boateng, eighty thousand, three years, and crucial first in player. Just a really good workhorse, a powerhouse, pacey, agility. He's got good skills, good weak foot. He's just perfect on this game. And we're going to go into this game again. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to save it. Because in my last PSG career mode, one of the things that kind of drove me away from doing that was that it kept on freezing. So on the note of PSG, I will talk about that in a minute. Just needs to do the team management for our next game. So we're going to go white versus blue and red. I don't like the Barcelona kit really too much. And we're actually playing at the unofficial stadium because FIFA can't get the actual license. So we're going to see what players didn't play in the last game. Jose Rodriguez. We've got SEM. We're going to play in this game. And hopefully move Modric up to, where is it? I think uh, Cam. So we're going to put Modric in Cam. Essien in DM. And Jovic is going to be good for another game. Uh, we're going to take off Arbelo, put on Pepe. And also, is there any other players that I could use? Still just such a small squad. We need to really expand on the squad. And let's go into the game. And hopefully we can beat uh, Barcelona and then win the Super Cup. Okay, guys. So we're going into the second leg up against Barcelona. But okay, guys. So we're going into our... Second leg game up against Barcelona. This is going to be a really good game and hopefully it's as good as the first leg. I really enjoyed that. And so far, I've been really enjoying the episode. It's just good when you haven't played career mode for a couple of days, just playing a lot of old my team, just going back to career mode. It's a lot more relaxed. I really do enjoy playing it when I do. And we're going to go into this game at the unofficial Barcelona Stadium. So on the note of PSG, I probably Higuain, by the way, isn't playing because on the bench. That's where he belongs. And hopefully he goes to Arsenal, by the way. I'd really like to see him in the Premier League. Don't actually personally support Arsenal, but I'd just really like to see him go. I'm sorry if you've seen the episode as he's already gone, but it's actually being recorded. This episode is actually being recorded on the 10th of July, I think he is at the moment. Okay, Ronaldo. A bit, good bit of skill. That's so effective around that kind of spot. I will talk about PSG in a minute. Uh, uh, Callahan with some great agility. Give it to. Jovic has made it 1-0 in the fifth minute and I promise you there's no sliders on this. I will show you in a minute because I know you, you guys will be hating on me if you think that's, if I've not shown you sliders. But anyway, Jovic does get the first goal of the game and now 3-1 up and since Jovic's first goal for the club, he's just, Real Madrid have just the team's just really pulled together and we've actually got the first goal of the game. Fabregas just running through and Messi, don't give him space. Good tackle there. If that was a penalty, geez. Okay, Alonso make that tackle. That's what I like about him. He does actually get back, but he's not making the tackle so far. Get the tackle in. Great tackle. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I cannot believe that. That was a great tackle. We're just going to go into instant replay and watch that back. So, we're going to actually get a good view. Let's get a good view of this. I got the ball. All right. Okay. This game is just so annoying sometimes. Let's get rid of the hide by pressing back. And let's resume this. Watch this slowly. Okay. So, basically, I'm just going to pause this. Look, I get the ball. Is that? I don't know if that's... I need to look at it from another angle. Look at Sanchez's face. But, yeah, I've got the ball. That's just clear evidence. Look. I've got it in the perfect place. That is... I've got the ball. I'm having second... Four. I don't know. You can decide in the comment section below. I was just thinking for a second. Did I actually get the ball? It's just FIFA's stupid physics. We've got now got to save this penalty in exactly the 27th minute. Oh, and he's chipped me as well. Just to add to the... Uh, so, uh, just 28th minute there, goal from Messi in the 10th... Uh, number 10, Lionel Messi, with a goal in the 28th minute. Just really annoying, actually. Just really so annoyed with that. Because I think I got the ball. Also, has got some great tackling stats. And Barcelona have now made it 1-1, thanks to a cheap penalty. 
Okay, guys, so we're at the midway point in the game. It's 2-1 at the moment. Messi with two goals for Barcelona. Jovetic with the only goal for us, but still really annoyed with that referee. But we're good. We're going to move on. And I think at this point, we're actually going to extra time. So we're going to have a quick look at the substitutions. We're going to have a look at the fitness. And I think we'll be able to get maybe one more game into, the, into today's episode. And, yeah, let's have a look at the fitness. I think I'm going to stay with the team as it is. So Fabio Contral bring on for Marcelo just for now. Just try something a bit different. Really liked using Fabio Contra in the first in the first game of today's episode. So we're going to go into second half and hopefully we can win the game. Right, Messi, look at the look at that. I can't do anything about that. He's tried to chip me as well, and he's hit the bar. Oh my God, Messi's just having an amazing game so far. Forty eighth minute, and they've actually got themselves a corner. And Puyol is not going to get to that, and we're going to try and break away. All right, PK should not be able to catch up. Come on, hurry up. OK, we've got ourselves a chance here. Di Maria, and I can see Essien going through the middle. And we're going to have to beat Alba as well. Going to give it to Jovetic. Is he going to finish it? Yes, he does. A fantastic finish by Stefan Jovetic. I'm really enjoying using him. Thank you for everyone who suggested him, because I've never actually used him. And he just goes, goes and scores like that. It's just insane. He's finishing another similar finish to the first goal for him in today's episode or in today's uh, second video or second uh, goal game. What am I trying to say? OK, they've got a straight chance here. Sanchez, great block there from PK. PK, Pepe. I'm getting mixed up with words, okay. Modric, get that back. Okay, let's get another break on. They're going quite attacking. Bye bye, mate. <laughs> okay, PK, you're too slow. Just retire. <laughs> okay, Ronaldo's just going to go and he gets past the defence, and we shall get ourselves a free kick, maybe. Barcelona well, putting pressure on now. And should I go for the five of the back formation just to win this? Oh my god, Messi just found space and he's made it. He's just insane on this game. I can't do anything about it. Pepe is just having a mare at the moment, not doing what he's asked to do. What is Pepe doing? Just I'm not supposed to control him. E EA should have controlled him, or I don't know. FIFA shouldn't control him. The AI, I don't know. But they've got a goal there, whatever you look at it. Oh, Ronaldo with a bit of skill there. Ronaldo throwing goal. Can he finish it? No, he can't. Iniesta getting past. I just can't tackle him. David Veer now. Fabregas, a great tackle. And they nearly scored again. This is just insane. I can't tackle them. And they're going to make a substitution. Busquets coming off for Iniesta. Thank God for that. Iniesta has been one of their main threats so far in this game. So we're just going to pass out to Pepe. And they're going ultra attack as well. Have I won? Oh, God, I need to defend this. Great tackle there from Sergio Ramos. I was going to say, I've got more goals away from home. So maybe I could win the game. But I've still got to defend this. I thought they were about to score, so let's try and defend this. Sergio Ramos winning that all day. Where's my defence gone? Where's my midfield? Okay, push out. Okay, uh, where's... I need to look at Messi. Where is Messi? No, none of them can finish apart from Messi. Okay, Ronaldo on the attack. So if they're going ultra... Attack, oh, why is Modric has pulled up? Go on, you obviously just keep that in play. But anyway, yeah, uh, what, was, what was I saying? So Barcelona, they've been playing so well, but they're still... I don't know if I should be going through. I don't know what's going to happen because I've actually scored more away goals it might be the away goals rule and Modric is back on his feet which is good uh, Jovetic oh Puyol tackled him I don't know if I've won the game who's going to win it I think we've won it yes that's the first bit of silverware for the season and yes a good win over Barcelona so we're going to go into the first game of the season enough about that I don't really care about that tournament too much just need to get the signings and then power through the whole season in about by, uh, by episode number 5 or something like that, and then move on to the January transfer window, transfer offer accepted for Musa Suzuka. I think it'd be so good for a big team like this. I don't know how good he would be, but I would reckon he'd be quite good. Important first team player. I should have maybe put that to squad rotational player. We're going to have another look, and remember, I'll just leave you with the uh, ne negotiations or the transfer uh, budget. I will show you that in a minute. And Aguero might be going to Barcelona, but we got our first game, contract offer accepted for Isco. That's another good signing. We're down to 66 million and Gundogan, how much is it? 26 million. Shall I go for that or shall I get Boateng? So I can actually store this in the comment section below Boateng or should I go for Gundogan? Okay, guys, so I'm going to go into transfers again. We're going to look for some more strikers. I just feel that I need another striker, maybe like a winger. And I think I'm going to go for Robben. So I'm going to go back into the shortlist and I think I'm going to go for Robben. Just really like to use him on this game. And only 14 and a half million, which is so cheap for such a great player like that. I'm actually going to offer him. 21 million, try and get this deal done before the first game of the season. 
And that will bring us down to 44 million. Remember, that's how much I'll have for the next episode. And Hulk as well. I think I'll make an offer for him. Because he's just such a good player on this game. Not really. He's just actually joined the club. Forgot about that. But could go for Lamela. Could could do. I don't know about that. Uh, we could go for... Let's have a look through Gareth Bale. Could go for him in the next episode. Don't know what you guys would think about that. Uh, Christian Oakson maybe. We've got enough centre, mid, uh, centre attacking midfielders at the moment. Mangala maybe. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. It's just one position that's missing. That striker. That second striker when Jovic is injured and... I don't know who to buy, so we're going to advance and we're going to go into our first game of the season. Transoffer accepted for Lam. I thought it was going to be Robin, but if we can get him, that'd be quite good. And just to kind of, uh, what's it called, just make the team a bit better in terms of rating because he's the best right back on the game, really solid at that right back position. I think he's 28 years old. I don't know about buying him, but I think I will leave it because I have got De Siglio and we've actually got Boateng. So again, I am going to stall this for now. Boateng or Gundu one. I think I have to make a decision maybe because they're going to get a bit annoyed because I haven't actually responded to any of them. And we're going to actually buy Suzoko. So I think I'll make, a no I think I'll make my decision now. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it for you guys. And if they just pull out, I don't know who to go for. So we're go I think I'm going to have to make a decision. I just It's going to have to happen before the next game, I think. So Boateng or Gundogan, let's compare the stats. So we're going to actually go into shortlist. I think this is the easiest way to do it. So... We're going to go and find Boateng, as you can see here. And let's just get him. And then scroll to compare. We're going to find, who's his name? Uh, what's his name? Gundogan. Okay, so in terms of acceleration, Gundogan has better, and he has better agility. He has better balance. Boateng has better jumping. He has better reactions. And Gundogan's got slightly better sprint speed. He's, and Boateng's got a much better stamina and much better strength. I think that makes him the more complete physical attributes player. He's got better mental attributes. And skill attributes, why am I swapping players? Okay, let's have a look down here. Just looks pretty equal from what I'm seeing. Don't really want to go through all the stats. Just pick out some of the most important ones. Finishing, Burton has better finishing. He has better uh, heading accuracy. He has better long passing. No, he doesn't. He has better long shots. So, so I think I'm going to go for Boateng. And yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to actually go for Boateng. So I'm just, I'm just thinking about it still. Gundogan or Boateng. So I think we're going to go for Boateng. And I can still sign Gundogan in the next episode, depending on what you guys want to see so we're going to accept that and that's going to be another signing to our club so he can play anyway can play strike if you really want him to and we're going to stall this offer with Gundogan new signing arriving there for Kevin Prince Boateng and trust offer accepted for Iron Robben so 100,000 two years and we're going to make him a crucial first team player and I think he's 21 and a half million which is so cheap for such a great player like him and we're going to close the inbox and then move on to our first game of the season which is seven days away hopefully six days away sorry and it's against Valencia, not actually 20th in the league. But contract contract offer accepted. We're going to actually reject this. Just thinking about it, De Siglio is going to play at the right back. I don't want to really affect his potential. And we're going to confirm... Uh, we're just going to stall this with Gundogan. So you can leave that in the comment section below for the about 500th time I said that. So Cavani might be going to Barcelona. But they've already got Higuain. Why would they sign another striker? And they also wanted Aguero, didn't they? So we've got the game up against Valencia. Come on, Robin, Please sign him before that game. Really just want to use him. Contract, contract offer accepted for Robben. That's good news. Just as I said that, we're down to 18 million now. We've still got 125k for remaining wage budget. So I can still buy a good striker, the likes of Emilio, Ababo, someone just who can just come off the bench and make a big game impact. So we're going to go into squad. We're going to make the best first 11 for this first game of the season. So our below, we're going to take him off for De Siglio. Look how big my squad is now. Jeez. Okay, De Siglio, I think this has been a good start to this video. Or a good start to the season, I should say. Not a good start to the video. It's probably about 20 minutes in by now. So, Varane and Sergio Ramos is my centre-backs. Marcelo is my left-back. I think I'm going to put control there. By the way, I need to just change the formation to 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-2-1, I think it is. And let's do that quickly. Okay, we could use a 4-3-3, false nine, and put Ronaldo at centre-forward. But anyway, okay, let's just quickly do this. So, Marcelo, Modric, uh, uh, Xabi Alonso, I think I'll take him off. Don't really enjoy using him. He's so damn slow on the ball, so we're going to put in Suzoko there. We're going to put Robben in on the right for Ozil. We're going to take off Di Maria, actually put Robben there and put Robben on the right and Ronaldo there. And then Jovetic up front on his own and he'll still do a good job on his own. And we're going to actually take off Boateng and we're going to put on... Let's, let's think about it. So I do enjoy using Suzoko. Just look at his stats. And it's just all about how I do enjoy using the player. So we're going to take off... Just look at midfield Boateng, Suzoko and Ozil. And then on the bench, we've also got 
the likes of uh, where's Isco? We got Isco on the bench somewhere. There he is. We're going to put him on the bench. We're going to take off Nacho F- uh, Fernandez. We've got an 87 rated player on the reserves. That's how good my team is. And we're just go- just quickly just brushing up on the team, making sure it's good enough for the first game of the season. We've got a decent uh, reserve goalie as well, so it's all looking good at the moment. And th- this looks like it's going to be the first team for the first game of the season. Okay, guys, so we're two days away from our Valencia game, but I've decided to save that for the next episode. Sorry about that, but we will start the season in the next episode. Do you want to see live commentary? Do you want to see me by Gundogan in the next episode? So I will leave you with a couple of new signings. We've got Robin, we've got Isco, we've got some other players I can't remember. We've got De Siglio, we've got Bo saying a lot of new players into the team. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Maybe we can reach maybe 30 likes again for the long episodes. And tell me if you want to see live episodes. Do you want to see post-commentary episodes for the next episode? So... Again, thanks for watching and thank you for all the support and leave your questions for the special 750 subs Q&A, which I'm hopefully going to do in the future, just kind of getting questions for that moment. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.